Daily Gospel Reflection with uh, Father Jack. Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is September 14, 2020, Monday of the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And today, we celebrate the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross. Our Gospel for today is from the account of John chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. Today, as what I've told you, we celebrate the triumph, the Feast of the Triumph of the Cross. It is called Triumph. Because the cross is no longer a symbol of shame. It's no longer a symbol of suffering. Because when we speak or we talk about cross, that's what people are, you know, uh, talking about. Cross is a symbol of suffering. It's a symbol of shame. It's a problem. You know, it's no longer a sign of scandal and defeat. It is a triumph because Christ transformed the meaning of the cross. The cross is now the sign of God's glory. The cross is now the greatest sign of God's love. The cross became became glorious because of Jesus. The cross is no longer a symbol of condemnation, but a proof of our salvation because of God's great love. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, take up your cross, love your cross, embrace your cross, Because life without a cross is not a comfortable life. And I keep on telling people that one. You know, you heard me saying that many times. And today, I will say it again. No cross, no crown. In our first reading for today, it tells us how God transformed shame to glory. The cross of Christ became the source of healing and glorification. Today, we are reminded that God will not allow shame to dominate. God will not allow persecution to dominate. We are valuable to God. We are God's adopted children. And He sent His only Son to save us. He sent because we are priceless. We are priceless. We are valuable to God. And God proved it by dying on the cross. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, You heard me saying this, and I have to repeat it again. Accept your cross. Embrace your cross. Carry your cross. Don't run away from the cross because it will lead to triumph, to glory, and to our salvation. I repeat what I've said. Life without a cross is not a comfortable life. St. Rose of Lima once said, and this is where I end my reflection, apart from the cross, there is no other ladder by which we may get to heaven. No cross, no crown. Amen.